Hello and welcome to another edition of What Does the Giraffe Say Media with me, Kathleen Rotone. We're so pleased to be back after a month's hiatus for my holidays and even more pleased that for the first time we're heading over to India. So it's a completely different country and we're going to be talking all things about female ranges and conservation in India. So please let me introduce you to Dipali Dioka and she is the founder for Exploring Womanhood Foundation based in India. Um, so Dipali, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself, your passion for conservation and a bit of your background. Uh, yes, so hi to everyone and namaste to the world. Uh, I am Dipali Atul Devkar and I'm from India. I'm a founder and director of Exploring Womanhood Foundation. And our foundation is basically working for the women ranges open and welfare of their family members. Uh, yes, uh, so the journey started in uh, from 2013, after 13, uh, my, uh, basically I have done my graduation in biotechnology, post-graduation in uh, uh, MBA, which is biotechnology and HR. So I'm basically from the HR management, uh, uh, that is a background. And I did my corporate job for five years. Uh, which is in uh, Syngenta, Coca-Cola, Acoris, and the Pika Software Development Private Limited. After getting married in 2013, uh, I just uh, go with my husband in the forest area. Uh, he is a uh, he is now a ACF, Assistant Conservator of Forest in uh, uh, Indian Forest Department. Uh, so we are from the state of Maharashtra and the journey of ranger uh, and uh, uh, interaction with the rangers, their family members and the jungle, wild animals that started from uh, that uh, period. Uh, so uh, I'm so blessed uh, to uh, to be with him uh, in the jungle. We are staying in the government quarter. And uh, during that period, I just interacted with the so many people uh, from the uh, conservation area who are the uh, forest dwelling community near, who are staying near to forest, who are uh, interacting with the uh, wild animals, and they having a, a big role in the conservation of forest of India. And after the Gachuroli, uh, I got a chance uh, to interact with the so many people. Uh, as uh, uh, my husband, who is uh, working in the forest department, he's uh, performing his job. He, when he was out of home, uh, he was on the field. He's, uh, he was in his office. That time, so many people uh, uh, get, uh, coming at a quarter to meet him. That time, sometime I get to interact with them. So the conversation gets started, and uh, we just connected. I, I, I got a chance to connect those people and have interaction with them. After that, I, I have seen the Gadchuroli, I have seen the tribal area, I have seen actual dense forest, uh, which is in India, Maharashtra state. Uh, after that, uh, uh, he is posted in Pench Tiger Reserve, Maharashtra. So that time also, I was staying with him in the jungle, in a, a government forest quarter. And uh, so many interaction that time also I, ha uh, I have done with the rangers, women rangers, their family members. So this is a journey and I'm so proud that the, I got a chance and so I'm so blessed to you know, stay in the jungle for so many years. Yes. Um when you were starting your organization, so you mentioned there that you were going into the jungle, you were meeting the communities. What was the kind of spark for you that said, okay, I'm going to start an organization that, that helps these people? Uh, yes, so when I was staying with my husband at a quarter, uh, I actually don't go in the jungle. Uh, I used to stay at a quarter when his meeting or some uh, programs are there in the forest or in the department. That uh, that time I got a chance to be with him. That time I got interaction with the so many rangers, that female ranger officers and so many uh, fraternity of the forest department and the local community also. So that time uh, I interacted with, I uh, getting conversation with them. I uh, 
so they get uh, somehow they get connected with me and uh, they are happily uh, sharing the things whatever they are doing on the field and whatever they are uh, no, what the challenges they are facing uh, how they are facing the challenge and uh, how they are making the solution about that so i just inspired uh, uh, listening all those things and uh, uh, i uh, mainly i got an interest in female rangers uh, why why the female rangers so, so many are asking me the why female rangers only there are male rangers they are also doing the best job yes they are doing female rangers are also doing but my concern for the female ranger because of why because these uh, women rangers are doing the same work as the male counterpart are doing but the uh, whatever the limelight or whatever the uh, like uh, they are not famous because the so many things they are doing but they are not presenting uh, in front of the society so our foundation main aim and objective is to uh, uh, to have a interaction with this stories have a successful stories challenges whatever the effort they are taking and we are just started to write about that and that time when i was writing those things i got a so many uh, like uh, so many uh, feedback that yes you are doing good thing we don't know this this thing we uh, uh, the family members are so saying that the, yes my uh, uh, my uh, girl uh, my woman is working this much and we don't know because these women are not telling uh their friends also their family members but they are performing very well on their duties so i got inspired and uh, i started to write about that but the uh, now we are the uh, government registered company under the indian act indian company act but before that uh, when i started in 2013 and we just uh, registered now in uh, 2019 so in between this period uh, i worked on the so many things uh, to interact with the community uh, to have uh, knowledge about the wildlife what is the conservation actually uh, why this is uh, why this is required why this is important for the uh, our ourselves for the human being and why wild animals uh, what they are what how they are affecting our climate change Uh, how the society should be behave uh, related to them so these things are uh, in between these things so that time one day i said to my uh, husband uh, my partner okay i want to register a company uh, in 2015 that time he asked me are you serious that time i said yes i am serious but again he asked uh, said me that yes you are serious but do the things before registering and uh, to uh, when that you can uh, can come to know that the, how much serious you are about these things the registering company and doing the uh, protocol and uh, going through the all the procedure so from 2015 to 2019 i am working as a non registered company but i done so many things i interacted with the people i seen the department what department is doing and forest department of india maharashtra and all the regions of india they are doing fantastic job and we just proud about them so that time i decided that yes this success story this challenges or uh, this uh, failure whatever they are doing they are a fabulous and we just proud about that so that time i just realized and starting to work that and when my husband realized that yes i'm serious and i'm doing the thing so my family member my husband uh, uh, come front and they supported me and we just registered before one year uh, so the things are going on we are doing the part about the conservation wildlife ranger and family of ranger Awesome. I mean, you're doing such an incredible job, and I absolutely love the ethos that that works behind your company. Um, we've got a question coming through from Stacy Saddlefield. Hi, Stacy. Um, she's one of our regular viewers based in America, um, and she's actually got a very good question. Sometimes she asks better questions than I do, um, and she's asking: Are the women rangers well accepted by their male counterparts? Uh. here i want to mention two things 
the coin, whatever the coin or whatever the one thing we are saying, that one thing having two, two sides. Yes, they are accepting. Sometimes there are some other things, so they are not accepting. The thing world is facing the same things uh, happening in India, but we are so privileged that uh, our uh, that uh, the uh, things which are happening in India about the woman here, women are worshipped, women get respect so uh, from so many angles, and uh, so male counterpart accepting that they are doing the best job. And uh, they are supporting female members. And why yeah. is it that the industry is typically male? And why is it important for females to join the industry? Uh, difficult for the female men uh, members because the from when female mem uh, female is uh, getting birth, from that time she is facing all the trouble. Uh, for some time they are getting dropped from the school. Uh, for some reason, they are dropping the colleges. Uh, Sometimes they are dropping from their study. Sometimes they are getting early married. So these are the reasons that why why the female rangers part is uh, not that uh, big as compared to the uh, male ranger part. And yes. what what is the typical the the female rangers in India? What typically is their background and how do they get involved? Uh, yes, India. Uh, in India, here is a, a, a government uh, that is a, a government agency who is handling all the forest and wild, which is a part coming under the con uh, conservation in in India. So the rangers who are selected for a job that is uh, particularly they are scrutinizing from the so many exams, and after they got selected, here is here are two parts. Uh, one rangers are selected for the central government and one rangers are uh, uh, selected for the Maharashtra, uh, that is for the state level. So there are uh, two written exams. After that, they have to do the physical test. After they have to do the uh, uh, interviews. And after those uh, scrutinizing, they are, after that, they got selected. So after selection, they have a two years period for the training and after they after their training they are actually on the job as a ranger yes. and, and so, are they, are the, these, so they come in from they have to do like a, do they have to have like a college background what kind of background do they need to have a uh, college background for the there are a position there are a job roles from the uh, from the lower to higher authority so uh, for the minimum, that is a graduation they have to complete. Okay. Yes. I, I know you're very passionate about um, how rangers provide links to the local communities. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about why that's so important and how it works? Uh, yes. So a ranger, uh, as we know that the police department, army, they are doing on the borders they are doing the job in front of the uh, people. So everyone know that the US police department is doing this, this thing, army or forces doing this, this thing. But rangers are doing for the forest. They are in the forest from their timing of a job is not uh, fixed. If is there any emergency, they have to go in the forest. That time, uh, for it, rangers are performing on so many uh, on so many angles they are managing they are uh, administrating they are going in the uh, going in the uh, uh, villages they are interaction with the student interacting with the uh, uh, forest uh, dwelling community or the locals and they also doing their documentation they also performing uh, on the poaching role and so many job that rangers are handling and in this case uh, this uh, this uh, local community is very important. So danger and local community, there is a uh, uh, there is a, some gap that they are uh, they are doing or they are maintaining it by the spreading the awareness between them. So this is a challenging part that we have uh, found it from our research, and uh, we thought that we have to work on those things. So the ranger's job will get somehow easy and the local community can know about the things that what the rangers are doing, how they are important for our li livelihood and for the so many things for the conservation. 
And you've mentioned it a few times about the forest dwelling communities. Can you talk to us a little bit about this and their challenges and how your organization supports that? Uh, yes, the forest dwelling community, that means who uh, the local people who are staying near to jungle <clears throat> and they are performing uh, the job for the conservation of forest and wildlife. So uh, in this, when they are staying near to jungle, that means their livelihood dependency on the forest. And so they are going in the forest for the uh, uh, to collection of the wood and for uh, collection of the moha. Uh, honey and so many things that they are uh, going in the jungle collecting and they are uh, that is the uh, that is the one uh, part for their uh, uh, livelihood so in this section we observed and we found uh, found that the, if we are providing the some empower, empowering empowerment uh, opportunity for uh, the livelihood uh, if they are uh, doing their own businesses apart from the forest or apart from the wild, uh, whatever the coming in the jungle, so that time they can uh, they can uh, have a love about the forest and the wild animal, and they are starting live livelihood uh, at their own businesses and the other opportunity for their lifestyle. So we are focusing on their lifestyle to maintaining, and we are supporting to do uh, the businesses, small small businesses. So they have some uh, money for in your in their hand, and they can manage their life. And what are the biggest threats that you're seeing to conservation in India, um, and how do you try and combat that? Uh, yes. So biggest challenges is everywhere where there is a forest or there is a wild animal. That time, uh, the collection of the wood, uh, grazing, uh, encroachment and uh, so many uh, development issues. These are the issues, man-animal conflict. So these are the number of the issues uh, what the forest and the forest dwelling, uh, forest local communities are facing. Even we are facing that thing, all the human beings. So in this section, India having man-animal conflict, that is the biggest challenge in front of India. The pop population of India is very big. Uh, so maintaining the uh, that things uh, which is depend on the livelihood for the on the forest. Uh, so uh, and uh, when uh, population is big, then encroachment gets started, and uh, the number of the trees getting cutting, wild animal threat are will be there. Poaching will happening will be there. So this is a biggest challenge that man animal conflict. So India is uh, uh, doing very hard on this aspect and uh, co conserving the nature and wildlife. And you were mentioning yes. there about poaching. Typically, what animals are being poached? Um, and, you know, is, is it seen by the by the government as something that they need to clamp down on? How does it work that side? Uh, uh, when, uh, uh, in India, we are seeing the poaching about the, there are some wild animals who are uh, the, the tiger, and uh, Indian pangolin, these are most affected animals who are get hunted for the some kind of superstitions are there, some kind of the uh, uh, wrong belief. So the uh, look, so the some people are uh, not well known about that this is not good thing or uh, sometimes they get uh, uh, they get hunted by the people. But the department of forest department uh, NGOs are doing hard on that and. Uh, Yes, poaching getting uh, some uh, somehow they get uh, uh, somehow they are maintaining uh, that gap and that area. And yeah. when you're saying that the animals are being poached, like the tigers and the pangolins, um, for those who are watching who don't um, really understand the superstitions that go behind that, can you explain a little bit about that? And is it staying within India, or is it are the animals getting shipped outside? Uh, superstition in the sense that uh, here in India, in uh, some regions, uh, for little bit people are they suppose that the uh, uh, the uh, pug of uh, tiger, the bone of tiger, they are very uh, good for the some kind of uh, health. Or if we are uh, having those in our home, that time uh, this is very good thing. But uh, uh, 
the Indian government and uh, all the NGOs who are in India are working on that, uh, spreading the awareness that th that this is not a good thing, and uh, people getting aware about that. And the ratio from uh, sometime the ratio are uh, getting down, and yes, animal are getting protected. And do you do work with the communities to try and explain uh, the the importance of keeping these animals protected um, and also trying to break down these superstitions? Uh, yes, uh, for breaking down the superstition, we are going at a villages, uh, we are going at a colleges, uh, we are going at a school and we are interacting with the people, student, young generation. Basically, we are interacting with the young generation and spreading the awareness, uh, uh, spreading awareness about uh, what is actually wildlife, how they are important for us, what is the forest, uh, why the uh, trees are uh, important for our uh, life. So the young generation getting aware about that and we are happy. <laughs> I completely <laughs> agree. You need to start them young and get them engaged. And then that's when you're going to start seeing changes in attitude. Um, on, a, on a bit of a different note, you're also the co-author of an international paper on the impact COVID has had on rangers and the rangers' families. Can you talk us a little bit about your findings here and, and what kind of things you were discovering? Uh, yes. Uh, so during COVID, when he did very uh, hardly on whole world and India also, that time uh, uh, we did the international paper and in that uh, I am a co-author. So uh, writing about that paper, uh, I was doing my part as to calling the rangers and their family members and having interaction, having some questionnaire with them and asking the questions, okay, how uh, how you are doing that during this period? Because the, some rangers are getting uh, a very hard duty. Sometimes uh, they are out of uh, the forest and uh, they are interacting with the people. Uh, they are coming on the road and having spreading the awareness in between villages uh, in urban area. So the job role or job role of rangers getting changed, and um, might be they having the pressure on that. So that time we have we are interacting with the family members that how they are uh, managing the home in the absence of a ranger when they are out from the home. That time I was finding out that in some regions, yes, COVID is heated very hardly, and uh, rangers their family mem members are get affected. But they are saying that, yes, we are having some problems, but the government are supporting us, NGOs are supporting us, our neighborhood are supporting us, and we are getting uh, the good sense about the how to uh, manage our things. Uh, so, and in some region, when we are uh, called out in Assam, uh, 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 in that area, so that time they are saying that, the, yes, uh, COVID is there, we are seeing on the TV, but we don't uh, have affected about that. In uh, some part of Rajasthan also, the people are saying we, uh, we know about the COVID only by the media. We are not affected here. And in some, uh, some village area also, people saying, in uh, yes, we know, but we are not affected. So my finding about the COVID-19 is, yes, in some region, COVID is uh, badly affected, heated very hardly. But in some regions, uh, people not get affected and rangers are doing the uh, good job on conservation. They are going in the jungles and they're having a fresh air and they are maintaining their health. And yes. did you see if there was, was there an uptick in poaching during this time? Because people are looking for ways to earn money um, as, like, you know, tourism's ended and, and that kind of thing. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, what happened in India when COVID is affected in urban uh, metro cities that time, uh, so many people are coming from the villages. They are going back to their home. And when uh, they are going back to home that time, they have they don't have any job or uh, responsibility or the work. That time, uh, they are just uh, doing the fun, going uh, somewhere uh, that time. Uh, and the poaching things are getting increased that time uh, and uh, yes uh, rangers are uh, doing their job 
and they having more duty at that time. Yeah, for sure. We've got a question yeah. coming through from um, Akiki Valentine. Hi, yeah. Um, and they are asking, in what ways are local communities to benefit from living with wildlife? Uh, yes. Uh, when local communities uh, who are living near to forests, that time uh, wild animals in the jungle. So what uh, Indian government is doing, they are arranging the safaris. Uh, so that time so many people are coming to visit the park, uh, the buffer area, uh, the core area in the forest. That time uh, forest department is collecting the uh, fees from uh, the people who are visiting the park and the jungle that time and those uh, uh, those the money that money is used for the uh, local people that whole complete money is used for the local people for their well-being so uh, they get benefited when they are protecting their wildlife so many people are coming to watch them enjoying them and they get benefited and uh, we, we also have a question coming through from Winnie. Hi, Winnie. She's another um, a big fan of the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and she's asking, because so many corridors are being lost in the forest for some animals to survive, is it possible to leave enough room for them to wander through, especially elephants, um, without them having to face conflict with humans constantly? Mm. Uh, yes, somehow we can say that the, uh, these things are happening. Uh, but the, this is the challenge that uh, some NGOs are working on that, uh, government are working on that. And uh, we, uh, we can hope and uh, we can try for the conservation of these animals. And uh, is there areas that the government will reserve so they can't be touched to allow these animals to to have this space uh yes uh, if they get injured uh, sometime or uh, if uh, is there any difficult time then uh, there are so there are some other places uh, like uh, uh, a park or uh, some transit centers rescue centers are there so the uh, those animals can treat it over there and they can keep uh, for the lifetime in that place. And then if people are watching back home and they want to be able to, to support you guys and to help the work that you're doing with these female rangers, um, what's the best way for them to do that? Uh, yes, uh, so basically we are working with the uh, forest dwelling community uh, we are uh, providing them uh, some raw material and we are getting uh, that last uh, final product from them and we are uh, selling from our side. So uh, in this way, uh, if anyone want to help us, if anyone want to uh, connect with us, they can uh, help this community. Uh, and another thing, uh, I have uh, my own business that is Exploring Womanhood Sari Collections. Sari, that means in India, that is a six meter or nine meter fabric, which is made on hand loom. And this, uh, this uh, fabric is made by the forest dwelling community also. So we are purchasing those things which are made from the forest dwelling community and we are selling it and we are blessed and we are getting uh, so many order from the people who are very interested in the conservation. This is a one part. Another part is uh, 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 as we are conducting the sessions, uh, awareness about the wildlife, awareness about the conservation. We are taking the session on POSH, that is the prevention of sexual harassment at a workplace. If anyone want to uh, take these sessions at their place, they can uh, they can interact, they can contact us, we can arrange these sections and the, whatever the money they are paying for that se session, this money will go for the welfare of ranger and their family members. So these two things also, and uh, we are uh, doing, uh, we are taking so many programs. In that program, they can uh, have their participation. Uh, these things right now we are doing. In future, we have another plan, plan also. Watch this space then. You're, I mean, you're doing some incredible work and I would recommend anyone to go check out either the website 
or also go check them out on Facebook as well. Um, and you can see some of the saris that have been made. They're absolutely stunning. Um, okay, so I only have one more question left. Um, and, but if you're watching back home and you would like to put a question to Dipali, then please do pop it in the comments section and I will do exactly that. Um, and if you're watching this later and it's not live um, and you still have a question, please do again, please put it in the comments and one of us will happily get back to you with that. Um, so for me, Dipali, I always like to end on a, on a bit of a positive note. Conservation can be quite a tough environment um, and the work and the challenges can be quite extreme. Um, so I would like to know, since you've been working with Exploring Womanhood Foundation, since you've launched it, what's your favorite success story? Uh, yes, uh, the foundation, registration of foundation is getting started from uh, to uh, Vanadurga Award. So Vanadurga Award is basically for those women only. This, is, this award is for the uh, women rangers only. Why women rangers? Because the, uh, as we know that the, we are a half of the world. The woman population is a half of the world. And in the, um, in the ranger workforce, we are just 11%. So the reason behind this percentage is so many, but the one thing is that one thing is that uh, the female rangers are doing the same job. They are handling so many challenges as like a male counterpart, but still they are not getting the recognition. So we decided to recognize uh, these women who have done extraordinary work in their field. So Vanadurga, starting Vanadurga Award for the Female Rangers and uh, getting uh, their success story in front of the society, writing about their brave story, their challenges and uh, their success, their failures, whatever they are handling. And one thing that the woman is working on two fronts. In India, family is also important as our duty. So woman is doing on both fronts. She is handling family, she is handling their children, and uh, she is handling their job also. At any time when she, she is getting a call from uh, a call from their officers, their higher authority, or from the local uh, community, local people, they are just going in the jungle or in in that part where wherever it is. They are not scared about the things. They are going. They are handling. They are making the solutions. They are picking. Uh, they are making their own path. So these stories are very inspiring and we are not, we thought that this story should be come, come in front of the society and we just get started this Vanadurga award and we are so proud about this thing and we are so happy that we are getting so many uh, so many uh, comments so many feedback that this is thing uh, which is required and uh, this the, that whatever you have started that is benefited for the rangers and the rangers are getting a uh, international platform to perform on and to uh, to communicate with the world so this is this is the biggest uh, success story that uh, we are so proud about that i absolutely agree it's so important that the rangers get recognized for the work they're doing it's a, a very tough job in a really tough environment so to have their voices heard and to feel important will we'll just encourage them. Um, Stacey, uh, oh, sorry, carry yes, on. Yes, I want to mention another success story, uh, which is about the forest dwelling community, the self-help group women. Uh, here, what happened when we are interacted with the self-help group women, uh, they are doing the job, but we are provided with some uh, raw material. We are encouraged to do the things. And we say then to we are we we will going to purchase from uh, your side and we will uh put, we will sell or uh, sell another place. But one thing happened uh, in India there is a one uh, festival Raksha Bandhan, uh, where a woman uh, uh woman tying a knot on a male or a female uh, female on their hand and that is uh, for the. Uh, that is for the gratitude. They are showing the gratitude that you are protected from the enemies, and uh, we are uh, we just love you, we respect you. That is a brother and sister bond. That is a rakhi. So that time when uh, we are uh, asked about the uh, self help group woman, uh, that are you going uh, are you going to sell these things? They are very shy and they are saying, you know, we can't do that. Do that. 
okay so we have given them another challenge yes uh, uh, on your side you just go you just arrange a program for uh, some uh, some people who you want and do the things just interact with the people just have a conversation and make some uh, the things which are positive for you so you can uh, have a empowering things on your mind so you can uh, get confident and uh, you can uh, able to start your business so that time these women who are very shy who are not ready to do the thing the same thing whatever i mentioned that time they have done tabula job uh, fabulous job that they uh, they are arranged the program they have done the raksha bandhan with the rangers and they feeling very happy about that they are saying that the so many people are coming and they are saying ki yes you can do this this thing uh, uh, we will provide you uh, you can have this this thing but the one thing that whatever you are saying that ki you just go and you do whatever you want to do and this fem- female are doing same thing and after that program they are saying me yes uh, we are very uh, uh, we are feeling very uh, nice and this is uh, one of the thing that we can uh, we have a good confidence in us in ourselves that we can do the thing as per our own yes i agree i think it's so important for people to have that confidence and get that empowerment um to be able to go out there and build build better for them um we have another question coming through from um okeke valentine again and hit they're asking is your government supportive when it comes to wildlife conservation um do they take it serious yes of course uh in india uh, the whole department whole uh, the forest whatever the wildlife coming in india that is under the government agency and they are running all those things and they are uh, fully supporting uh, for the conservation of nature forest and wildlife that's great to hear i think it's so important to have that backing um with the governments to to actually understand how important conservation is um stacy sadfield is also asking do you ever go into the local schools to speak to the children about the importance of preserving their natural heritage and also to encourage them to be a ranger yes i personally go in the school have interact had an interaction with the uh, student uh um, talking uh, about the conservation uh, to know about their views and they are pretty much uh, aware about the conservation and wildlife also i uh, i personally uh, go in the villages having the interaction with the mother of children uh, and uh, uh, just uh, asking uh, asking and uh, understanding their view about the how children can uh, should be grown as a parent so this thing Awesome. Okay, well thank you so much to Pilot for coming on the show. I've absolutely loved having you on and uh hearing your story and your background and the great work that you guys are doing in India. Is there anything that you would like to say before we go? Uh before that I want to say uh conservation of nature and conservation of wildlife is very important for the human being. and we are uh, when we are going in the jungle in the forest that means we are going in the home of uh, home of trees and wildlife so please take care about those things and uh, don't ruin their life and just love them they will love back us exactly that we all need to we're all connected so working with wildlife and protecting it is also protecting our communities and our loved ones as well Um again thank you so much for coming on. Thank you everyone back home who's been watching from all over. We really appreciate you watching. If you've liked it, please do give us a like and a comment and a share. The more people that can see these videos, the more awareness we can raise for the incredible work people are doing for conservation around the world. Um also stay tuned. We have many many more interviews scheduled for the coming week, so please do check us out. We're going to be covering everything from bats and snakes and then even tigers over the next coming weeks um so i hope to see you guys joining me there and again to pali thank you so much for coming on really in love enjoying what you've been doing and also thank you so much for the work that you're doing
thank you kathleen and so many best wishes for this a great program thank you so much thank you very much okay enjoy the rest of your day guys